Hey guys, it's Craig. Today we are going to be converting uh, TIFFs and PNGs and PSDs into JPEGs with an automator script um, that I will show you how to create. Uh, this is really useful for doing batch conversions, um, if we're working with clients that tend to send you large TIFF files that are useless to work with, or uh, for just converting images for web use or whatever purpose that you have that you need. This is really useful for work. And I hope that I can teach you how to use this right and hopefully save you some time and some frustration. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start by going into Finder, going to Applications and finding Automator. Um, it should be towards the top. Just double click that, open, and it's gonna pull up this little uh, window with a few options of what you wanna create. Uh, today we're gonna create an application, which basically means uh, that you will get a little icon uh, that you can, or I should say a little file that you can save in your applications folder. You can just drop your images or a folder of images onto this icon, and then you will be able to uh, convert all those images into JPEGs. So let's go ahead and hit choose. And so this might look a little confusing to anybody that's never used Automator before, um, but we will, just walk you through it and hopefully it won't be too confusing. Um, if you don't understand any of this, just follow the directions exactly and you will end up with an application that will work. So the first thing we want to do is going to go ahead and click this library here, make sure that's highlighted and then go over to search and search for ask and then you'll get ask confirmation. So what this is, is just confirming that we want to convert our images um, to a new format, just in case you accidentally drop an image on here or you drop an image on here and realize that that was not the image you wanted. We just want a fail safe that will stop you from permanently converting images that you don't want converted. So we'll go ahead and fill this in with a message. So we'll just confirm um, that we want to permanently convert this to a JPEG because we are not going to offer an option to copy those images to a new uh, folder or a new uh, location. We're going to actually copy, or we're actually going to convert the original files. Um, there is an option to copy the file into a new folder, but personally, that's not how I've ever needed this to work. So. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way here. So then we're gonna go over here to photos and we're going to scroll down to, here we go, change type of image. You're just gonna drop that in there and it's gonna give you this warning that it uh, wants you to add a copy finder items action. Um, we don't want to add that, so we're just gonna say don't add. Again, that's gonna, that's gonna uh, convert our original image files to the JPEG. Um, it's not gonna copy any files, so just be aware of that. So then we have these options here. Um, this is the type of file that it's gonna convert to. We, in this case, wanna to convert to uh, JPEGs. If you find that you need to convert to PNGs all the time or JPEG 2000, uh, or whatever, TIFF or BMP, I don't know why you would need those, but there are options, um, so we're just gonna go ahead and choose JPEG because that's what I need and that's probably the most common option. So go ahead and hit that. And then what we wanna do is just go ahead up to the search again. Nope, sorry. We're gonna go to the library and then we're gonna go to the search and do notification. So display notification, drag that over again. And we're just gonna say conversion successful and so all that's going to do is display a notification at the end of this process that will let you know that it's all finished um, and then we're pretty much done that's it's really easy um, i will show you a few more tricks here just to make sure that you can use this properly so what you want to go to now is file 
save, then name it. We'll just call this converter. And we're going to save it into the applications folder here. And then you want to save it file format as an application and hit save. And then if you pull up finder, we have our applications folder here. And then we will go down to converter. It's right here. So you can go ahead and grab any image that you have, any non-JPEG -image, non image that you have, and um, it will go ahead and convert it for you. So let me pull one up real quick. Okay, so I have this file that is a TIFF. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it right onto the converter icon here. It's gonna ask us, do we wanna permanently convert to JPEG? We're gonna hit okay. And then we get a notification here, conversion successful. So that's good to go. And you can see right here, this file that was a TIFF is now a JPEG. And it converts with almost zero loss of quality. I've never noticed any loss of quality. Um, so this is really powerful image converter. It's very useful. I um, mean, you can um, do more than one image at a time. I've done hundreds of images at a time. It handles it fine. It's, um, you know, it can take a few minutes to process, but it works really well. You can convert anything. I convert PSDs all the time. I converted yesterday. I converted about 60 uh, TIFF files that were 50 mega or 50 megapixel uh, TIFF files. So they're about 300 mega megabytes each. Um, it just took a few minutes, and I had all JPEGs, and it was great. So I hope this is useful. Oh, actually, there is one more thing I want to show you. So one last thing uh, is to go ahead and um, change this icon. You might not want that because it looks like the automator icon, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they do that. But what you can do is go ahead and select it, then hit Command I. And then what you want is to find a preferably a PNG that you want to use for the icon, um, and then open it in preview. Let me go ahead and grab one here. So I have this icon that I created um, open in preview here, and all you have to do is hit Command A to select the entire image, and then Command C to copy the image, then come back over here to this info window, and click on the little automator icon here, and hit Command V to paste your graphic on there, and then you're good to go. Um, you put a new graphic on there, and you can see I have duplicates now. Um, and then you can go ahead and uh, drag that on down to your uh, dock down here, and you can just drop images on that and convert them uh, seamlessly and convert them really easily and quickly. Um, I hope this is saving you guys some time. I hope this is useful. Um, if there is any questions about this um, or confusion, just leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.